Now you are the head animal. Do you Kev see? Do you see this? Kevin's running around the house trying to do stuff, and the animals get in his way, and he's the like, "Come on, come on, come on, come on!" Making a move, and I had to go to the bathroom, and I can't move too fast right now, guys. And he's like. Come on, come on, come on, come on, and smacking me on the butt, making me move. That's right. And he's like, you're just like all the other animals. I'm like, I'm an animal? Yeah, you're the head animal. That's not nice. <laughs> I don't make animal sounds. You don't? Grr. You, let me see. You you make meowy sounds. Oh, you, I do, you, I? you do, yeah. you make... <laughs> You know, I just noticed, she's supposed to be white in here. Yeah. She doesn't look white. <laughs> yes, she's a dirty girl. She rolls around in the dirt. <laughs> well, today. 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 Wait, wait. come today. back here for a minute. Good morning, neighborhood community. Well, today, I got to finish the front, get the crash together. Uh, all that needs to be done before I take Val to the doctor. She has a doctor's appointment today, which we hope will help us in some way instead of being another Wasting dead end. Because they have been so far. Something has to be done. And <laughs> I'm going to sit in their office and refuse to leave until they do something. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> We'll see how quick security comes up. <laughs> All right. Still a beautiful day. Unbelievable that it's February. But I got my tags. So my truck is finally legal. Okay, guys. It's almost 4 o'clock. My appointment's at 4.10. So we are leaving the house right now to head to the doctors and uh, yeah yeah <laughs> Kevin took a shower and cut his hair I did he looks handsome of course yeah I took a shower and just put my black cat ears in I'm in one of my Daryl Dixon shirts and my Snoopy pants because <laughs> I didn't feel like getting dressed. So, not looking forward to this. I am and I'm not. So, yeah, well, we never know how these are going to go, you know, because you go in and they're going to might just say there's nothing wrong with her. Well, there's definitely something wrong, and we looked up some information online, and it could be... Oh, you scared yourself is what you've done. It, well, there could be a lot of different things it could be, and I'm not... Doctors don't like when you self-diagnose yourself. Yes. And... But they don't... Most doctors don't go the extra mile, and... They they test you for one thing, and if it's not that, they say, "Oh well, there's nothing wrong." You That's know, right. if they don't know what it is, then it must be in your head. That's the, the, always the result. They don't want to go any further. They want you to go away. So. But I'm not going away. There is definitely something wrong, and I am going to make them get to the bottom of this. Period. Yep. Are you burping? Yes, I didn't know you were recording. Yeah. I don't get any pictures of anything while we're in here. I don't want people to know where <laughs> I'm at. You're at the doctor's. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey guys, we just got back from the doctor's. Um, we did film a little bit there. Yeah, a little bit. Just to show that we were there. Yeah. Um, Kind of embarrassing, but um You want me to talk about it? Well, hopefully it's not TMI for a lot of you people, but I'm getting up there in age, so um not that this happens because of age, but 
I had a hysterectomy when I was really young because of endometriosis and I also had breast cancer so I was unable to take hormones and there's three things that's going on right now and I'm gonna let Kevin tell and <laughs> tell you what they are and explain what they are because I can't pronounce them so here's Kevin guys <laughs> hopefully it's not TMI sorry if it is sure all right she has uh, probably our, our, the most obvious thing that we've known for about two weeks now is um, she's having a, a prolapse. A vag we thought vaginal prolapse, it's probably the same thing. Um, it's, a, um, it's called cell, which is things are, have dropped inside her and it's kind of pushing her body parts out of the front. So, um, she, which is which is common for um, people who have had hysterectomies at a young age. We got a helicopter flying around right now. It's not usual in this area unless there's an accident or they're looking for somebody. Yeah. Um, but a vaginal prolapse is not unusual for someone who's had a hysterectomy at a young age which I had um, because there's nothing there so things start to fall so okay go ahead she, she also has something called uh, valvovaginal atrophy which again has to do with her uh, hysterectomy Since and not being able to take she, yeah, she is. She's no longer producing hormones, and she can't take hormones because of her um, her cancer that she had. And the other thing was called um, female rectocelli, the female rectocell, which has something to do with her. Also, to the atrophy, as well. Let me see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. It's it's basically inflammation between the wall, between your vagina and your rectum. It's swelling and it's pushing, which is probably what's causing all the, the pain and pressure. So that's called rectocell, female rectocell. It's a herniation. How all this happened? Other than the prolapse, I have no clue. Um, well, actually, the prolapse and the um, other thing that has to do with the hormones. That I can understand. The rectocelli thing, I have no idea. Um, I have to go see a specialist tomorrow morning at 7.20. Yay! There are some treatments for this, but I don't look like I'm a good candidate for the treatments, the doctor said. Um, so it looks like surgery. Yeah, and we also couldn't get the prescription filled for the uh, um, rectocele. No, it was for estrogen the, ring. It was estrogen ring, which was going to cost us $141. And I'm afraid we can't do that. So, we were barely able to afford the uh, doctor's appointment today. So, I have to run to a pharmacy to pick up some other medications that they didn't have in Corona. I have to go to Riverside and uh, maybe pick up something to eat on the way. Home. Hmm. No, I'm going to eat on the way there. No! You're on your own. I'll slap you silly. <laughs> you don't have to catch me. I can't catch you. I can't run. There you go. Bummy. Just staring. Just staring. That's because he has no eyelids to blink. Don't blink. <laughs> so guys, I don't know what it, 
to say. I'm kind of feeling gonna, embarrassed about everything. We're going to bed early because we have to get up early. Thank you very much. Do you want me to cancel my appointment? <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's in Riverside at 7.20. And we have to be there 10 minutes before. So we have to be there at 7.10. Uh-huh. So we have to leave here at about 20 to 7. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Sounds like fun. Yeah. I just had to fill out this whole questionnaire. <laughs> it's crazy. But it's true. <laughs> I can't stop thinking of you, babe. I can't stop thinking of you, babe. <laughs> Stretch it out, stretch it out. <laughs> she just flopped that on her back so I could pet her belly. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to take my meds and I'm going to go to sleep. I've been doing a lot of crying today, so I have a really bad headache and my throat's a little just sore from crying. I am tired from crying <laughs> and stressed. So, anyway, do you have anything to add? Nope. We're going to go ahead and call it an evening. We hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today. Sorry if you don't. Uh, please give us a favorite. Please give us a thumbs up. Please leave us a comment down below. Please share our video with your family and friends. But, most of all...